Okay, YouTube family, welcome again to Lady Tiz Exotics, and this is going to be a very fun video. And I will be giving you my explanation, my reason, my thoughts on why I prefer reticulated pythons over Burmese pythons. Both of them are large snakes, of course. A reticulated python being the longest snake and the Burmese being one of the heavier snakes in the world. As I go through this, I don't want to say that a berm is less of a value than a retic. This is just my preference. And in my world of preferential thought, I prefer the reticulated python over the Burmese python. And stay tuned and I will tell you why. So here's one of my Burmese pythons. This is Big Meech. And Big Meech is a normal berm. He is just about over, I'll say a year and a half, almost two years old. Um, Burmese pythons definitely grow slower than reticulated pythons. So I can see how some, you know, punk BIs like Dre from DW Exotics prefer berms. Are they sweet? Absolutely. Um, very gentle snakes slow moving but very I would say uneventful as far as activity and engagement compared to a reticulated python but definitely a beautiful snake Big Meech is gorgeous fun snake cool snake eats really 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 good that's a good thing about a berm but you know just think of them as a bull python with sides when it comes to um, eventfulness. They do like to be handled, I know mines do, but um, I mean, it's just simple. It's just very boring, okay? That's, that's, that's the word, boring. So, here's another berm. And of course, you can see she's larger. This is Pearl. Pearl was my first Burmese python. And Pearl is about three years old. Most of a Burmese python growth comes in that second to third year. That first year, I would say actually the first to the, the complete second year, they're growing slowly, as they should grow slowly. Um, I know a lot of images of the larger snakes out there are of obese snakes. Uh, they don't need to be obese. They need to be well fed. As you can see, Pearl, being one of the more active Burmese pythons, still is not as intuitive and active as my reticulated pythons. If I put Pearl down right now, Pearl would actually just kind of stay in this area, move very slow. Eventually she may explore some of the other rooms. They are a whole lot more chill than a reticulated python is. But a beautiful animal, I love it, but can't touch what you're about to see next. Stay tuned. Yes. So, here's a reticulated python. This is my Motley Golden Child's son. This is T'Challa. She is a very heavy snake. What you see is what I love about a reticulated python. They do not stay still. There is nothing that I will be able to do or say is for her to stay still. But what I do love about that, and she's really very heavy. She's definitely over 90 pounds now. Um or more she is not going to stay still but that's what i love about a retic the reticulated python is always on the move always doing something you can engage with it she is going to go around this entire house as long as we let her out it's like having a puppy um i get that you know some weak men um don't really like <laughs> reticulated pythons um, as much as berms or not at all. Like I hear some people say, I would never do that big snake. The unfortunate thing of a reticulated python is the bad rep that it gets. It's a wonderful snake. The only issue this snake is giving me is that it's heavy and I'm doing a workout and you can see me sweating. So right now, 
she's on the floor she's just going to go and explore and I can go in the other room, do other things. I can go upstairs, come back downstairs. The only thing I gotta watch out for is to make sure that she doesn't knock all of my stuff over or hurt herself from knocking something over. Um, right now, she's at my feet. Um, sometimes she might just come. You might see a reticulated python literally just lift their whole body up to my body length to come up on me. They're spoiled like that. Um, if you actually spend time with them they're great amazing animals but compared to a berm berm simply kind of have pretty much the same personalities berm to berm my retics none of them are the same type of snake they all have different individual personalities it's another thing i think is cool right now she's on the floor like i said very heavy heavy snake i'm just gonna pick her up you know no no i don't have to wrestle her or anything so a lot of the stuff that you guys see is false so you don't have to wrestle them. They're very intelligent. They know who you are. Um, and we just going to, you know, have a good day. Right, Booby? So I'm going to let her go ahead and get down. And I'll let y'all see one more retic so you can see why they are way more awesome. I'll let you see two berms. I'll let you see retics. Two retics at least, right? All right, Booby, go ahead and run around. Really big girl. You can see her going. She's gonna go behind there and come around and then come back out. But just so y'all can kind of see her size. And she literally moved my whole desk just now when she did that move. Yeah, pretty cool animal, right? Love her. All right, let me show you another retic so you can understand the why. Okay, so while T'Challa is actually still traveling around, you may hear her breathing in the background. Retics, when they start to breathe really, really heavy, um, it's because they are actually compressing and expelling the air from their lungs as they move around. You don't hear it in the beginning, um, but when they become very active and they've been out for a while, you'll start to hear them kind of breathe heavy. That kind of, it's kind of how I know when my retics are getting tired. And T'Challa, when she's exhausted, will find her own way back home. So, give you another example of an amazing animal, an amazing reticulated python. Funny stuff. So when I told you they all have different personalities, for example, I have no idea why this fool is literally laying under his water bowl. So he's able to lift this big bowl full of water and get under it. Um, it's just cool to see. Burns don't do eventful stuff like that. You know, retics could act actually, they actually rearrange their enclosures. Any retic owner will tell you what I'm talking about. You may sit their hides in this place or that place. They'll relocate their hides and their water bowls to where they want it to be for their convenience. Child is right behind me finding her way back to her enclosure. So, she's, you want to see her. Well, you won't see her because she's down there. But she's on her way back. She's right under, near my feet now. So, as you can see... You know, that whole thing, you have to have a hook. You have to have a hook. Um, all of my retics are trained to know, when I say condition, I hate saying trained, but they know when it's me, it's food thawing out in the other room. There are guinea pigs and rats in the other room. So now I just have to get him from underneath of his bowl. And he's still at a size where I can do all of this without help. Um, all, all of my retics is not the case. I need support if I'm going to lift them. Um, I can get them to come out, but if I'm going to lift them, I need support for the larger ones. So, Mystical is one of my most easily managed to reticulate the pythons at all times. He's one that I will hand to anybody at any time. Um, He's a really a good baby, as you guys can see. Mystical is my tiger pod, Habano. He wants to do his own thing right now. But again, that's what I love. No, you cannot go in there with her. He's trying to go in there with T'Challa. 
When they come out, it's going to be eventful. You're not going to be able to, like I said, just kind of leave them in the room like I can with the berm sometimes. Even if I step in another room, they'll sometimes follow where I go. But I'm always conscious of what they're doing so they don't hurt themselves. But not one moment in any one of these videos have you seen. So, as you can see, he's trying to go home because he's been out for a while. Uh, it doesn't seem like that in the video, but he has. He's been out for a while, and he's actually breathing like T'Challa was. And remember when I told you that's a sign, typically, that they done exhausted themselves, and they, <laughs> they're ready to just go back in. They'll find their way back home, as he's doing now. You know, retics are not for everybody. But if you're comparing them to a berm, I mean, you can't compare. Berms are slow berms are not as intellectual as retics are um, like i said there's food on or right there in the kitchen and he's unbothered by it um my berms typically are unbothered by, unbothered by it too but the difference is is that when i go in their enclosures and they smell food i have to be extra cautious before i lay hands on them where it's opposite most people would have you think that retics are so food driven that they can't think when food is around no it's actually berms with the lack of intelligence you have to actually condition them better to understand not to be so food driven retics are very smart i opened this side of his enclosure mystical already knew because i opened that side of his enclosure that it, he was not eating because if he was eating i would have opened the other side of his enclosure and that is what i love about reticulated pythons they are way more intelligent than burmese pythons i don't care what dw exotics tell you they are way more active way more eventful and they're just great animals to have if you like to really engage with your animals if you really have time to engage with your animals because if you don't the animals that i showed you won't be those type of animals you will find some that they will be a little bit more defensive or a little bit more agitated these animals are so used to being handled like even down to the tails you know they'll tell you don't touch a retic tail i can touch my retic tails they're not reactive so i can touch my retic tails you know, as you can see, my hand is right on it and he's just fine. So, there you have it. The reason I choose retics over burns is just that they're just a whole lot more of a fun, engaging, intellectual animal. Same reason why I prefer a Rottweiler over a Chihuahua, for example. You know, I love the fact that the Rottweiler uses his intelligence to a whole nother level, you know, uh, but it takes a, you know, strong person to handle retics. There you have it. Peace.